Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have been gifted some gel polishes and some other things by Madame Glam. So I am going to give them a try on my own nails and I will be applying them and then I will be removing it. If that interests you, follow along. First we have the Madame Glam Soak Off Gel Polish in Because I Said So. I also have another gel polish in Baby Nest. Next, I have the accessories that go with gel polish. I have a soak off base coat. I have a soak off top coat. And I have a gel polish remover, which I've heard different things about, not the Madame Glam specifically, but in general, the gel polish removers. But I'm going to give it a try. I also have this seriously cute Madame Glam New York mini light. How adorable is that? So I'm gonna show you the box that it came in. So this is what it is. It has a 45 second and a 60 second choice on it for time. It's a six watt. It does have a cord with it. I'm gonna show you that in a second. This is the front of the box. I assume you can get them in the white or the pink. Like this is my hand up against the butt. Like you can see how small this is. It sits right in the palm of my hand. It is so adorable. Thinking what this would be really cool for would be nail art, like freezing nail art, or if you're doing like a, a full tip coverage, like the Apre nails, and um, using this would be super cool. So here's the cord that comes with it, so it's a USB cord. I don't actually think that this is probably effective to do an entire set of nails and cure them properly. Perhaps it is, may prove me wrong, not sure. To me, I would use it for art, but I haven't used it at all yet. So I'm gonna open it up, because I think it's just the cutest little thing. The cord is probably three feet, I would say. So the three foot cord is definitely enough for me. If we hit the button once, check it out, it's running. You could put your whole, <laughs> You could put your whole four fingers under it, or maybe one if you're doing art, if you're trying to freeze art. You can put five under it, but you can see that my fingers are sticking at the end. So obviously you're not going to cure your whole hand in here, but how cool for flash curing. I mean, you can pick it up so easy, it weighs nothing. So if you click it once, it comes on. If you click it again, I assume that's the 60 second setting, and then click it again, and it turns off. I am going to start with the Soak Off Base Coat. I always gel polish with a art brush, simply to get in around those cuticles if I need to. So this is a art brush by Glitter Bells. I have cleansed and prepped the nail. I'm going to do just a fair coat of base, pushing it up into the cuticle. Don't mind my hands, guys. I know, they're terrible. Also, this one is not dirty. It is paint, it is stained. So I've given the base coat a 60 second cure, and this is what we have. This is how I expected it to look, so that's pretty great. I have chosen to use Baby Nest because I think it's such a pretty pink color. I'll show you this way. It's gorgeous. So let's talk about the packaging a bit. The brush, nail techs oftentimes wanna know about the brush. So the brush, is nice and wide. I really enjoy the brush. I've used these a couple of times on clients. As a comparison, I have a Ugly Duckling gel polish here. The brushes, I would say, are very similar in size and in width. So if you used Ugly Duckling before, that will give you an idea of brush size. I'm going to start with the pinky. As always, hoping I don't make a massive mess. My nails are so super short right now. And actually, my nails don't hold gel polish very well when they're super short, so this is a really great time for me to test this out.
Okay, so my first coat is on. As you can see, the coverage is decent. There's a little bit of shadowing, nothing major. So I'm going to go ahead and do my second coat. So next up, I'm going to use the Soak Off Top Coat. Now that these are cured, I am going to use a little bit of alcohol to wipe the dispersion film. And how pretty are those? They feel good, they're shiny. I really like them. I do want to let you know that Madame Glam has also given me a discount code to forward on to you, and it is Cheyenne30, and it is for 30% off your entire order. So I'm going to put that in the description box and that will also include a link that you can follow to get to their product. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. I have worn this baby nest color right here that you just seen me put on. I have worn it for about a week and a half. I actually wore it longer than what I thought I was going to. I'm going to take it off with the remover. I know that at one point in time, uh, removers like this were kind of in the news for us. And to be honest with you, I didn't really pay attention to it because I just assumed that I would never be in contact with them because why would I? I do mainly acrylic. But Madame Glam has sent me this to try out. So I have read the instructions. I'm going to read them back to you. So the directions are gently apply a thick layer of gel polish remover to your nails. Let the re remover cure for five minutes and easily peel off the gel polish from your nails. No lamp is needed. So by cure, they mean air cure. No acetone is needed. We'll remove all gel polish. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and we are gonna give it five minutes and see what happens. So I find the texture really super interesting. It's almost like, I know this is a really weird thing to think of, but if you've ever looked at the inside of like an ice pack, it has that gel in it. It almost puts me in mind of that. So it actually is easy to put a thick layer on because it's kind of jelly-like. So five minutes is on the clock and we'll see what happens. So we're getting on to being down to two and a half minutes, which would be the halfway point. They don't feel funny at all. They oddly feel similar to having the acetone wrap on, like the acetone soaked pad with the foil wrap. They feel a little bit cool, nothing really to speak of. They are feeling a bit dull or looking Sorry, looking a bit dull. They are looking as if something is happening to the gel polish. I'm actually just going to take the sharp bit of my tool and see if anything's actually happening. Yep, I think it is. I did a little scrape there on that one. I'm just going to replace where I took that from. So we have now about a minute and 35 seconds. We'll continue to let that go. So I'm gonna take the last few seconds to say I've really enjoyed making this two part video. I generally film my videos all at once. So this has been kind of fun filming it in two different, oops, two different parts. There is a discount code, of course, if you follow the link in the description and the code will be there. I'm sure I've mentioned it already in the part that I filmed before, but I wanted to mention it again so that you'd know where to look for it. Three, two, all right. I didn't want the timer to go off because the salon is full of other people. All right, I'm gonna start with the index finger just because that's the one that feels feels right to me. As with other gel polishes, I'm assuming had I lightly buffed the top coat, this would probably have soaked in better. I don't think we're at a full removal here. My scraper is quite sharp. Actually, I don't even use this scraper on clients because I find it quite sharp. This is one of those tools that's my tool. I use this one. We certainly aren't at a full removal here. Like I'm kind of coming right after it and it's not really going anywhere. I would say if I had to guess that by buffing the top coat, I would have had much more success. Although I am gonna say, I don't think this makes it any lesser of a product as far as the gel polish goes. I'm not one for removers anyhow, so this was never going to be my favorite product, but the colors are so, so very nice. The pigment is beautiful. Now this one's coming off quite nicely. 
The pigment is beautiful. The coverage is really great. I don't know. I think don't knock it till you try it, right? I never thought I would be gifted a product for removal that I would be videoing for you guys either. Yeah, I would say my removal <laughs> needs a little bit of work. I'm gonna carry on with this and hope that I can successfully remove it. I will likely continue to buff. And I will catch you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you want some Madame Glam colors, follow the link down below. See you later.